if you drive from Wexford to Enniscorthy and beyond Edermine, there's a little turn to the left, a little bridge called Matmine Bridge. Only one car can go across it at a time, across the River Slaney. If you cross that bridge and then you're on the western side of the Slaney and follow the river into the town of Enniscorthy, with Bree Hill behind you going through Davidstown, you'll, you'll, as you go down the hill, you will have St. John's Manor on the right hand side and the river on the right, obviously the river on the right hand side. And just beyond the entrance to St. John's Manor, there's a house called Lucas Park. And in that house, Mrs. Welsh of Lucas Park lived. And she's a very popular figure um, in, in Enniscorthy. She's a great card player. She's an extremely friendly woman. I knew the house because a friend of my aunt's called Sue O'Shea, who was a teacher, also lived in the house. And also the grandson of the house, Paul Welsh, um, for a time was, was um, in the same class as I was in the Christian Brothers um, in, in Enniscorthy. So I knew the house and I knew the gardens and the orchard, the pear tree, the brambles. And obviously in our house, um, it, it was noted that one of the daughters of the house, Eleanor, um, had married the poet Thomas Kinsler. And it was often pointed out to us as children if there was something about him in the paper or a book by him that he was actually married to somebody from the town. And a few times we saw him in the town. And um, so um, this poem, um, Another September, is one of the poems that is really about this landscape. There, there are other poems, early poems, such as The Country Walk or In the Ringwood, because the Ringwood was the forest um, between that road and the Slaney. And um, so he has come back um, with, his, with his wife, who's the daughter of the house. So he's the outsider, and he's come back with her to this, which is quite a beautiful house um, beside the River Slaney. So as you go down the hill, you can see Vinegar Hill on the other side, and you'll soon come to the Carrick, or sign for the Carrick graveyard, where some of the Fenian dead are buried in unblessed ground. And you're aware that this is a battlefield, but it's also, as you come down the hill and you pass Lucas Park, you know also that this is a landscape that was transformed by poetry. This poem is another, it's called Another September. Dreams fled away. This country bedroom, raw with the touch of the dawn, wrapped in a minor piece. Here's through an open window, the garden draw long pitch black breaths. Lay bears, apple trees, ripe pear trees, brambles, windfall sweetened soil. Exhale rough sweetness against the starry slates. Nearer the river sleep St. John's, all toil locked fast inside a dream with iron gates. Domestic autumn, like an animal, long used to handling by those countrymen, rubs her kind hide against the bedroom wall, sensing a fragrant child come back again, not this half-tolerated consciousness that plants its grammar in her yielding weather, but that unspeaking daughter growing less familiar where we fell asleep together. Wakeful moth wings blunder near a chair, toss their light shell at the glass, and go to inhabit the living starlight. Stranded hair stirs on the still linen. It is as though the black breathing that billows her sleep, her name, drugged under judgment, waned, and Bearing daggers and balances down the lampless darkness they came, moving like women. Justice, truth, such figures. Thank you.